Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 4079 in Candy Crush Saga, where we have 15 moves only to clear out 58 jelly, 13 milk chocolate, and 10 layers of dark chocolate. It doesn't seem possible, especially because we've got so many blockers on the board. Let's break these down one by one. The milk chocolate is here. We need to collect it. We've got 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We have to collect every chocolate that's on the board. If it grows, we don't have to collect all of that, but we have to collect at least what's here. So we've got enough on the board if we can collect it all. Hopefully the chocolate, I see what's going to happen. The chocolate is going to grow and hit the keys. So when it hits the keys, it will effectively collect the keys and we'll try to open this up. Then we'll have space to try to reach down here and get things done. That's my expectation on this board. All right, so let's look at the blockers up here. We've got marmalade and licorice and licorice in here. We can allow that. Um, if we take that out, it doesn't come back. There are no dispensers or spawners or anything that's going to give us new stuff. So we want to get rid of that as quickly as possible. Here's the dark chocolate, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. We have enough dark chocolate on the board. We don't have to allow any of it to grow. Uh, let's see. And then we've got all of this jelly that looks like it's concentrated over here. So with so few moves, I want to make the best moves possible. Each choice has to be the best choice. Well, unfortunately, we don't have any choices right now. Fortunately, it's still a good move. I'm going to take out the purple. That'll remove all the purple from this area and make it more likely to get specials, right? So I can create a stripe. And then I could do this and that would open this up, but I think I want to take out that chocolate while I can. Remove that so it's not a burden to me on the board. Now I can't take out this and it was just set to grow right where we were going to, you know, where we didn't want it to grow. So the licorice that's in here is actually isolating this chocolate which is good in the beginning because in the beginning we need it to be isolated so it can come over and grab that last key. Oh, one more turn and it has to grab that key, right? So we take out some dark chocolate. Now we can start working on the rest of the board. Unfortunately, I can't take out any of that dark chocolate uh, immediately, but look at that. The cascading allowed that to happen. And now we're reaching down here into this milk chocolate area. And because it did grow, we've got more of it on the board. So the chance of us reaching this is a little bit better. I like this move, but I'm going to go for this one first. And I say first, but sometimes that means that I don't get the, the move I want. Sometimes I uh, lose the opportunity because things can happen. But this is good. So I do this, it takes out all of the milk chocolate I need, it hits this, and takes out that jelly, plus I'll get even more chocolate. So there is a way through this, and it relies on allowing the milk chocolate to grow, not only to collect the keys, but also to create enough chocolate on the board so once we've got that done, it's easier to attack it from above. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below, and as always, thank you so much for watching.